It is no secret that there are many incredibly beautiful places to visit right around the world, and lucky for us, Australia is home to so many of them. Rottnest Island off WA is one of those beautiful locations, so we sent our favourite reporter, our very own Robbo, to check it out. Well, with beautiful white sand and crystal clear water, you might think that we're in Bora Bora or the Maldives, but we're actually in our own backyard. Just 19 kilometres off the coast of Perth, this is Rottnest Island, home to some of the most beautiful views on the planet and a little creature that just loves to smile. My island, oh. It's not just the destination, but also the journey that's magical around these parts. Just like the one that got us here. It's the world famous Rottnest Express. Well, I've made it up to the wheelhouse here on the Rottnest Express. The big man, it is Captain Ed. Ed, what are you doing here? Because it looks like you're playing a video game. <laughs> Uh, pretty much is. It's just a little joystick which uh, controls our steering for the vessel uh, as we make our way to the island. That is quite amazing. Now, the Rottnest Express is such a quick trip from Fremantle over to the island. How long does it take? Yeah, only 25 minutes, so it's only a short uh, skip to get to the island. Conditions like this are uh, perfect, very flat, calm, yep. uh, makes for a nice journey. If someone calls you a salty sea dog, is that a compliment or an insult? Uh, it is kind of a compliment. Um, it means that you are an experienced uh, uh, mariner. With crystal clear waters and amazing weather, it's not hard to see why every year over half a million people make the short trip from Fremantle, including a few lovebirds. How long are you guys staying over there on Love Island? I mean, Rottnest Island. Uh, we're over there for four nights. Yep. Should be fantastic. Four nights and you never know what questions could be asked, hey, Sarah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, never know. Could be love on the island. <laughs> Kelly, what have you heard about the island? Um, there's quackers. <laughs> Are you going to get a selfie? Yeah. That selfie, yeah, yeah. We want to take one home. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Baby one. Baby one. Okay. Definitely, yeah. You know I'm going to have to report you now because you told me. Is it illegal? Yeah, it is. You can't take a quacker. Yes, <laughs> no quackers. That's all we've come for. <laughs> all right, you're going to be a little disappointed. Move over, Skippy. This little animal with the big smile is quickly becoming the country's most famous marsupial. One of the most special parts about visiting Rottnest is you get to see the world famous quokkas and they are absolutely adorable. There is about 10,000 on the island so you are guaranteed to see one if you make the trip across. It really is something special, they just look so happy. Hello there. And much like everyone else, I could not resist getting my own quokka selfie. Well, with that very important event ticked off the list, it was time to hit the road with Damien for the Discover Rottnest Tour. Rotto is home to over 60 beaches, so there's plenty of spots to enjoy the sun, sand, and have I mentioned that beautiful water? Damien, I've just got to confirm with you, this is pretty much heaven on earth, isn't it? This is a lovely spot. It's called Parker Point. It's the most popular anchorage here at Rottnest, and in my opinion, in the top two best snorkel sites around the island. After seeing the island by road, our next stop was the Eco Express Adventure Tour, which takes you around the island to some pretty special sites, including seals and dolphins. Just a quick stop for lunch at Thompson's, and then it was finally time to get in the water. Oh, after a big day, it was time to find some dinner. Rottnest Island is a place that's just full of surprises, and if you think you can't get gourmet beautiful food here, well, think again. We are at Frankie's, and this is John, an amazing chef. John, good morning to you. Good morning, mate. How are you? Oh, very, very well. I'm very excited. So this is the kind of food that you can get here on the island? It is, yes. Uh, the gourmet uh, sourdough pizzas. Yep. So we make all this dough from scratch yep. uh, every day. What a perfect way to end a wonderful adventure. My island home. My island home. My island home is waiting for me. It is truly a most magic part in our country, right now. Steve, enjoy it. Those, yeah. those quokkas are lovely boiled. <laughs> <laughs> and if you'd like to visit. 
beautiful place. And if you want to know what the taste is,